Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about where to put Google Play keywords. Okay, so today I want to answer a question that came in on video 344 by Hararam Panchal. It's all about Google Play keywords. So, and this might seem like a like an easy question for a lot of you guys who have been using Google Play for a long time, but it can be very confusing for new developers just coming in. So his question was this. Also, I have one question extra. So it was one of many questions. Uh, everyone says keywords change can make your app download increase, but no one explained exactly how you have to do on Google Play where to change. And this is a really good question because if you upload an app to the Amazon App Store or to iTunes, uh, to the Apple App Store, they'll ask you which keywords you should be targeting. So it helps in the search algorithm, everything like that because they can't necessarily go through and parse the application. I'm not sure if Google can or not. People ask about that sometimes. I'm not really sure. But on Google Play, it operates a lot more like traditional SEO. So you got the on-page stuff and the off-page stuff, and a lot of things go into it that's not just the keywords. So when you put keywords into Google Play, you have to put them in the title and the description and, the, you know, and into the short description. So have a look at my screen over here to see what I'm talking about. So here's my, uh, my store listing for, uh, for Ear, Ear Agent, which is my top app, right? So you know, I basically have the title, the short description, and the, the full description. Now the title, one of the things about Google Play and apps in general, in fact search in general, is that we're starting to see a lot more use of subtitles. And that's because it allows us to describe more of what the app does and put some keywords in there that things might be searching on where we don't actually have to change the title. So like this here, if I show you this, I've got Ear Agent, Super Hearing Aid. We've got the 50 characters, so I have a bit more room there to play with, but this has worked so well for me for so long that I'm kind of keep sticking with this at the t for the time being. But when I do change something, if I want to introduce a new keyword, the prime real estate is right here because that's the, the most weighted. So that subtitle is very useful because it is flexible. I could change that from time to time and start introducing some new keywords in there and try to see how things rank. Right. Uh, also, the short description ranks pretty high. Some people will, will say, you know, it's, it's the second biggest or it's, it's after description. I'm not really sure, but I know that it's important, right? So if I try, if I want to introduce a new keyword into it, or you know, if the keywords that I'm targeting are they're too popular, like everyone's using those, and there's no way I could rank for that one, and I want something a little bit more long tail, something that might not be as popular, like free game would be like one that would be impossible. The word game would be impossible to rank for, for example, because everybody's in there, right? Um, you know, so I might introduce something in here and then in the description. In the description, you usually want to do it in the first couple sentences. And you hear different people talk about different stuff there too, right? So, and then you, you test these kind of things out by, like I, I use App Annie, so uh, App Annie is my favorite tool for doing this. And it takes a few days to, to really see any results, but then you go to the keyword section over here. And then you can see for each of the different app stores, you know, which keywords you're ranking for and, and how you're doing. So here it's ranking number two for spy, you know, number 11 for agent, ear, eardrop, ear spy, ear, eavesdrop, everything like that, right? So aside from those things, which are the things that you can control directly, there's other things that are, are, are key to the, um, to, uh, to the search ranking. So where were you gonna put keywords? Another one is reviews. Now I did a video on this, I think last year or maybe two years ago, where I talked about some of the things that EarSpy at the time was ranking for that I did not put in the description, I did not put in the title, the subtitle, anything like that. It was things like cheating girlfriend, stuff like that, and all these things came from the reviews. So people would leave reviews and put some of these keywords in there too. If there's some way that you can word your please leave a review kind of thing, which would allow them to put some keywords in there too, that might help your case too. And also, if you're gonna to respond to the reviews, if someone leaves you a five star review, say, hey, thanks for leaving a review, and try to use keywords there too, right? So that, 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 plays, that, that plays key into it. And lastly, you want a lot of backlinks. And this is something that's very different about Google Play, is those backlinks count too. So if you have a link that goes to your Google Play page, right, you don't wanna just, so 
put backlinks in as many places as you can, get them out on the web, try to get people to promote your app, and don't have the link just say the title. So like for me, I wanna be like Ear Agent inside the, the link that says Ear Agent. It would say like Spy App or Eavesdropping App or something like that, and it would just go, go straight in there. So let's just go into the, uh, the App Store here. And a lot of times, if you look at the top apps on the App Store, Sometimes you won't see this, but a lot of times you'll see that subtitle. If you look at the top books on Amazon, you'll see the subtitle. You start to see longer and longer titles because people want to not just have like a really good title because the title is important. I don't, a lot of people will say, you, you don't need a good title. You just need a descriptive title. I like having a good title. So this is why the subtitle is, is very important to me, All right? So if I go in here and I type, you know, spy, right? I've told you this before. I rank number two for the longest time. I rank number one. It's starting to fall a little bit, but I'm not using spy in my title. It's not in the short description. It's used one time in the description and that's it. But it's in the reviews all over the place. It's around the web all over the place because for the longest time, my app was called Ear Spy. And even though I changed it over a year ago, it's still it still ranks for those keywords. If I look for um, the same with some of these other ones that have just been, you know, eavesdrop, you know, I'm still, well, second, except for the one that actually has it in the title. So, but, you know, I, I didn't like that keyword anymore. You know, and there's, there's other things here and you got all the competitors here and everything like that. So just, I don't want to make this video too long. So it's a really good question. You have to play around with it in your description and your keywords. If you're going to respond to review, do it that way too. Uh, use a subtitle. Um, the subtitles, you, know, you don't want to go too long. You don't want to just be stuffed with keywords because it just looks cheap and nobody's going to download it then. But if you do something that's relevant and you can play around with those a little bit, it might be a complimentary keyword to the main, like if you have a, a really good keyword in your title and you want to have a complimentary one, that's a good place to test it too. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, so yeah, let me know. And if for the, if those of you guys out there who have other advice that I didn't cover, please put it in the, in the comments below because that will really help everybody. And, uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.